Hello everyone, let's look at lead code question 276, Paint Fence. At time of recording, this question has 1.5 thousand upvotes and 380 downvotes. The question is, you are painting a fence of n posts with k different colors. You must paint the posts following these rules. Every post must be painted exactly one color, and there cannot be three or more consecutive posts with the same color. Given the two integers n and k, return the number of ways that you can paint the fence. Okay, constraints are n will be one between 1 and 50 posts, and the different colors will be between 1 and uh, 10,000. The test cases are generated such that the answer is in the range 0 to 2 to the 31st power minus 1, given the n and k. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the first example, and it says every post must be painted exactly one color. These are just the constraints here. There cannot be three or more consecutive posts with the same color. All right, and in this example, n equals 3 and k equals 2. So, just ignoring the fact that we can't have three or more consecutive posts with the same color, how would we figure out the different amount of colors for each post? So, Basically, it's a simple uh, multiplication problem without the constraint of no three posts. All you have to do is multiply the number of colors by the number of fences. So in the first example here, n equals 3, so there's three posts, and k equals 2. So for the first fence, there's only two different ways you can color this post. And for the second fence, there's four different ways you can color the post because 2 times 2 is 4. And then the third fence would be 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. But the problem is that, like we mentioned, that there cannot be a third or more consecutive post of the same color. So we have to figure out uh, the different uh, ways in which this fence can be colored without the same previous colors. So to solve this first, we have our dynamic program programming solution here. And... Uh, since n is equal to 3, we create an array of 3 values plus 0, so that's 4. And we say, okay, how many different ways can this fence at index 0 be colored? Well, since it's the fir uh, not the first fence, it's the 0 index fence, and there's 0 ways to color it. And in the first fence, there's, let's say, okay, so it's the first fence and k equals 2, so just simply 2 different ways to color the first fence. And then you go to the index 2, which is uh, how many ways can we color the two combined fences? So that would be 2 times 2, which is 4. And then finally, what about the third fence? Since we can't have three consecutive posts of the same color, how many uh, ways can we color it for the this last final fence post? Well, this is where it becomes tricky. We have to come up with a solution uh, disregarding the last color. Uh, that would be the red in this case, so it can't be red. So what we do then is come up with a solution, which is adding the previous uh, number of colors, and then adding the one before that as well, and then multiplying it by uh, the number of k colors minus 1. So it would be 4 plus 2 multiplied by, uh, let's say, so it's uh, k equals 2, so 2 minus 1 is 1, and this would simply be 6. This makes sense because if you simply add the previous two posts of the uh, fences, that just means that you have, in fact, uh, considered all the possibilities that there have been before we have reached a third fence. So then we just need to multiply it by the number of colors that there are minus one which will be excluding the red color in this case so we want to exclude uh, the color that would be the third consecutive post of the same color so in this example it is six okay here we have another example but now we have four f uh, posts for the fences and three different colors okay so we start with index zero and since there's four posts there will be five input values into the array, dynamic programming array. First is the zero fences, uh, or posts, sorry. So you have zero posts. That means we can uh, apply zero different colors because there's no posts. 
and then you have the next which is just one single post well if there's one post and k equals three that means all three different colors can be applied to that single post and then the next post is post number two and uh, this still isn't the third consecutive one so therefore we can simply do uh, k which is three times itself so three times three is nine because we can consider every single color twice and we're we're counting the first two posts that we've interacted with now we're interacting with all three posts for this next index and it's a third post so we can't do three times three times three we have to do like we did before so we simply do nine for the previous post plus the three of the previous post so all of these different combinations and then we multiply them by the uh, number of posts or k different colors sorry three different colors minus the one which will be it cannot be red so this just becomes 12 times 2 this becomes 24 okay 24 and now that we have this uh, done we can simply do the same thing for the next post because there cannot be a third colored post even though if the previous one was still not uh, let's say if it was red let's say if this was red and the next post is green then we simply uh, consider the different combinations that have been created so far so then this would be 24 plus 9 and then we multiply that by K minus 1 3 minus 1 so this would become 24 plus 9 is 33 times 2 that's 66 so we're going through every single post and we're uh, figuring out then the total number of colors that can be made with all the posts okay so 66 is the answer for this problem okay and then here's the code running through the code really quick we say if n equals 0 return 0 this is the base case of there's no posts in the fence so there's no need to return the different amount of colors so zero if there's just one post it will always just be k so the number of colors but if there's two posts it'll always be the number of colors times the number of colors k times k and then we can uh, define then the dynamic programming approach which will then uh, take n the number of posts and define it into the array so n plus 1 times 0 will fill up all of these empty array values to be starting at 0 and then dp0 will always be 0 dp1 like we said is k dp2 is k times k and then anything after that will be three posts which is the statement here that we need to consider there cannot be three or more consecutive posts of the same color so for i in range 3 all the way to n plus 1 since it's non-inclusive we do like we were explaining before dp of i will be the previous dp value plus the dp value before that previous value so dp i minus 1 plus dp i minus 2 and then we simply multiply that by the number of colors minus 1 to exclude the third consecutive post of the same color so if there's two red and a green we subtract one to remove the red and then we return dpn this is just returning then the number of different uh, colors that can be applied to the posts okay all right let's check the solution very nice so what is the time complexity the time complexity of this solution is O of n because we have a loop that iterates n times and then the space complexity is O of n because we're using an array of size n plus 1 to store the number of ways we can paint the posts that's it for this problem thank you for watching